Hey guys, welcome to another Form Affinity video. Today we're looking at Maya Config Pro Annie 1.3, which includes all the updates that were made on Maya Config Pro 2.0, plus the additional animation upgrades. So to start off, if we come to the top and hit our drop down and go to animation, uh, this button here has been modified so now it is a toggle button so we can split the area into a timeline and toggle it off if we hit shift right mouse button we also have that same uh, timeline button here so i can toggle it there as well next we have this button here which is the um, <coughs> insert keyframe menu and this has been added in three different places. We have it at the top shelf here, the top shelf in the animation tab, as well as the shift right mouse activated animation menu, which is right down here. So if we click that, we can add keyframes based on location, rotation, uh, etc. And the cool thing is if we select Let's say we just select two of our three objects here. I'll go ahead and set location, rotation, and scale. So those are all set for our selection. But if I click on this object, you'll see because it wasn't part of our selection, that's not keyframed. So that's nice to have. You can just set keyframes for your selection. Of course, you could always hit A to select everything in the scene and then go to your insert keyframe menu and that will keyframe everything. So, but it's nice to be able to just select keyframe by selection, which is what this can do now. So that concludes everything, all the new features for Maya Config Pro Annie 1.3. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to check out our new video for all the features that have been added to my config pro 2.0, which are also included in this update. So thanks a lot, you guys. We will see you next time.